There is a stigma still associated with alcohol and drug dependence in our society, which is most unfortunate. The stigma is that this is a behavioral problem, that these are people who are just willfully misbehaving and they need to straighten up and fly right. That's not true. We know the scientific evidence is very clear. Addiction is a brain disease. It responds to treatment. Treatment works. We need to get addicted folks into treatment as soon as possible, and we can make a dramatic difference in their lives and in their families' lives if we do so. Well, I guess one of the biggest misconceptions about addiction is that people who are addicted to drugs are just making bad choices. And the way we understand addictions is that's simply not true. There are lots of people who have drug addictions who want to stop using drugs, but they just can't. They need help and support to do that. I guess another misconception um, would be um, that the medications that we use to treat, uh, to treat addictions are just replacing one addiction with another. We talk about addiction as loss of control over drug use. And the medications that we use to treat addictions, they don't, they don't end up in people losing control. Um, and that's probably because people just don't get high from those medications. And there's something to do with getting high that leads to that true addiction, that compulsive looking for medications. I think one of the common misconceptions that people have about drug and alcohol use with adolescents is that um, they believe it's some sort of moral failing that these kids have or some sort of moral defect, character defect, that causes these kids to use. So what that does, it tends to, to cast a, a, a sense of judgment on the kid. And so when they, when they look at their life and they look at their behaviors and they look at their actions, they're thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm just, I'm a loser. I'm a person that, that can't comply with what society says. And so they look at their, their lives and they see it as one big failure as opposed to someone else that may, may, um, may have a more um, traditional um, disease of some kind, say diabetes or something, where if someone has a, a bad day with their diet or something, eating food that maybe is not appropriate, well, they just jump back on the wagon and take their insulin the next day, as opposed to a kid that may have a, a, uh, an incident with drugs and alcohol, and it looks like, well, there's something wrong with you. You're a, you're a bad person. You're a person that, uh, that's not strong enough to, to say no to the urge to go out and use. And so I think if there was a way to, to take away the stigma that's attached to adolescents around their drug use, look more at the root cause as opposed to trying to, to blame them for their use, then I think we'd have better outcomes. I think one of the misconceptions that people have about addiction and substance abuse is that a kid can just say no. So they expect this, you know, 12, 13 year old kid just to say, no, I'm going to quit today. I'm done. I'm, I'm through using and life goes on and great grades, no trouble at home, all those different things. The problem with that is that addiction is more of, of a, a chronic disease type type deal. So instead of just saying no to diabetes, you take medicine and you treat it along you know, the way that the doctor would tell you to do. The same way with addiction is something that you treat, that you deal with long term, and you continue to work with that over a long period of time. It's not something that someone wakes up, you know, tomorrow and says, I'm no longer a diabetic. The same way with an addict, I believe. They don't just wake up tomorrow and I'm no longer an addict. It's something they struggle with, that they deal with, but it's part of who they are, and they move on through life, and they, they, they deal with it on a daily basis.